Hey dolls, how y'all doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. Today I'm back again with another twin pregnancy update for you guys and this is gonna be weeks 34 and 35 update yes so without much further ado i'm just gonna jump straight into the video i'm gonna be giving you guys my appointment talking about my appointment and then i'll move over to my symptoms so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye so let's talk about the symptoms i had a doctor's appointment yesterday an ultrasound appointment anyways let's start with weeks 34 34 weeks pregnancy update I had an ultrasound and the heart rate of baby A was 142 and baby A was breached remember my last appointment she was kind of transverse but on my 34 week pregnancy appointment she was breached which is sad but I mean and at this point, we really don't think she's going to flip because they don't have enough room to flip at this point. The last stage of the pregnancy. So, and baby B, baby B's heart rate was 147 and she is still head down. They both have good pocket of fluids and both are moving good, doing their practice, breathing. So everything for that appointment, the ultrasound appointment went great. That was a Monday. And then come Thursday, I had another appointment, which was my first appointment, the NST test. Yep. So when I got there, the nurse did take my blood pressure. Blood pressure was looking good. Everything was okay. And took sample of my urine. All the, you know, the stuff they do at the doctor's office. So then she proceeded to take me to the NST room. And she put the monitors on my belly. At first, at first, at first when we started doing, at first when we started doing the test, like on the monitor, she could only see one line. Like she couldn't feel like <laughs> there were two babies in there. And because the heart rates, we could get two heart rates, but the heart rates were really close. We have 146, 147. So she was kind of wondering like, okay, what's going on? So she let it sit for some time, about 15 minutes. And when she came back to look at the chat, it was still showing like one line. So she had to call the doctor. So when she came in now, the doctor came in, she kind of adjusted the, um, the monitor on my belly and then we started seeing two lines because they need to monitor um they need they have things they're looking for i really i'm not sure but they have to see two lines and within 20 minutes they have to see like a consistent movement or whatever yep that's how my nst appointment went and i did pass the test whoop whoop yep that was my first nst appointment and that was on a thursday and later that thursday again in the afternoon i had an appointment with my OBGYN. yep so i went there at 2 p.m my appointment was at 2 p.m so i got there at 2 p.m when they took sample of my urine she proceeded to take my weight i was weighing 208 i'm getting the numbers are getting really high guys <laughs> oh i was weighing 208 so and she had to check my cervix that's the first appointment of her checking my cervix oh my god if i tell you guys that she was painful <laughs> i screamed the hell out of that doctor's office oh my gosh because i met this other girl at the reception he's like she's there for the same thing they had to ch i mean it was her second time of them checking her she told me how far she along she's having a single baby but she's like two weeks away and i was two weeks away too so she's like this is the worst part of her life because they did it the last time she screamed the hell out and i was brave i was like uh-uh it ain't gonna happen to me because the last time with my son i didn't feel any pain i mean even when she was checking my cervix but this time oh my gosh after she checked she pressed on it and guess what i was zero centimeter no i was one centimeter dilated you know because i had babies before so i mean i was one centimeter dilated and she couldn't feel anything so i was still up the babies are still up up high so yep 
that's the roundup for my 20 for my 34 week pregnancy update and come 35 week pregnancy update like i said i'm just gonna combine them together 35 weeks pregnancy update baby a's heart rate was 137 and guess what that girl she is still breech and she has normal pocket of fluid baby b's heart rate was 145 she is still head down and normal pocket of fluid yep we didn't measure the weight this time so the next time we're gonna be measuring the weight is a week from now and that will be my last ultrasound before I have the baby so yep we're getting close and I'm gonna be doing one more update for you guys before the babies come yep and baby B she did have practice breathing and baby A when I tell you that girl is stubborn she is stubborn she couldn't show her face she didn't show her face all she did was show her hair they have lots of hair they always tell me that each appointment for ultrasound, they always tell me they have lots of hair. So all she did was show her hair. She was hiding her face the whole time. And she didn't want to do her practice breathing. It took so long, extra 10 minutes on her. I had to flip from side to side just so they can get her practice breathing. Yep. And you also know she's British. So she's been doing too much. Like seriously, I can't wait to see that girl. She's been doing too much. So moving on to how I am feeling. Oh, you guys can tell already. I'm running short of breath, but I need to get these videos out there. And my sleeping, I sleep pretty much all through the night. I don't have issues with sleeping. The only issue I have is turning from one side to the other but it's all good it doesn't happen often so i get a good night's sleep yep and my weight 209 weeks 35 209 point something yep so the numbers are getting high my blood my blood pressure was looking good and i also my doctor did the strep test yep which came out really good too so i have been having a little back pain I mean I've experienced it like just twice you know sometimes I'll just feel like this back egg here I've had that back pain and also my feet are beginning to swell up and baby A is doing a lot of movement so each time I always feel like she's trying to flip I'm still keeping my fingers crossed hoping for miracles Something is gonna happen because I really don't want a c-section but if it comes to that I really don't mind because all I want are for the babies to come out healthy yep I don't mind having a c-section as y'all may know for my first two sons I had them vaginal and all natural no epidural but with twins everything is different you have no choice and with twins, of course, I have to take an epidural because the, the babies, they're going to be delivering the babies in the OR room. And you have to have an epidural just in case they have to do a C-section, an emergency C-section. You already numb. If not, they're going to put you to sleep. So before I forget, another news. Since the baby A, since baby A is, since baby A is head down, oh gosh. So just before I forget, since baby A is still breached, the doctor, my doctor went ahead and scheduled for a C-section, which is going to be on July 1st at noon. Yep, so we have a scheduled date for C-section already. I'm super, super duper excited. I'm counting days right now. We have less than 10 days. I'm super, super excited and I cannot wait. It feels like 10 months. The last days feels like months, like seriously. So we get in there. I mean, I like a scheduled C-section other than you being in labor for like 10 hours and they have to do an emergency C-section. I just like the scheduled one. You just go in and after like an hour, you get to see your babies. Yep. So I think that's pretty much it for my week 34 and 35 week pregnancy update. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my belly bump. So... This is my bump from the side. This is it 
from the front and this is it from the other side yep girls getting huge yep so that's pretty much it thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll have one more update for you guys before you guys get to see the girls bye